Do you want to witness America become great again? It'll cost you. President-elect Donald Trump appears to be opening the inauguration gates to the highest rollers. The Trump inaugural committee has released several package deals for those who wish to be part of the five festivity-filled January days in Washington. Gifts range from $25,000 to $1 million as packages increase in cost with more exclusive access, events, and the amount of tickets. At $25,000, donors get two tickets to the inaugural parade, the victory reception, admission to the inaugural concert and fireworks show, as well as a black tie inaugural ball with special appearances by Trump, wife Melania, and Vice President-elect Mike Pence and wife Karen. The next level for $100,000 Donors receive four tickets for those events, plus two tickets for an intimate policy discussion and dinner with select cabinet appointees. A $250,000 check will get you all that, plus admission for two to the ladies' luncheon, where you get to meet the ladies of the first families, including Melania and Trump's daughter, Ivanka, plus an elegant candlelight dinner with special appearances by Trump and Pence. At $500,000, you receive four tickets to each event, but that's not all. Starting at the $500,000 price point, donors will have an intimate dinner with Pence and wife Karen. And only for a million dollars, donors will receive eight tickets for the majority of the events, four tickets to have dinner with Pence and Karen, plus attendance to an exclusive luncheon with select cabinet appointees and House and Senate leadership. The overall cost of the inauguration and related festivities is likely to run as much as $200 million. According to several people involved in the planning efforts, the inaugural committee hopes to raise roughly $65 million to $75 million to fund all of the events surrounding the culmination of the future president of the United States. Trump is not expected to donate to the festivities himself, as he did for his presidential campaign. Most of the burden and cost will fall on taxpayers. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.